Hello and welcome to one more Tech Tip Tuesday video. Today we will see how we can add customized property or materials property in our standard toolbox components. First of all, to modify that toolbox settings, there is an additional uh, command or there is an additional app called toolbox setting and your SOLIDWORKS version. In my case, I have two versions. So I have toolbox setting 2020 and toolbox settings 2021. We'll open the quick note. If your toolbox is in your PDM vault, then you have to check out the whole PDM, uh, whole toolbox from your vault and make all the changes and then check back. Right now, we'll select this customize your hardware. Over here, you have this custom properties. So we'll select new property here. We'll say material property type. We'll select list link to SOLIDWORKS materials. Now, over here, either or my suggestion will be if you have your favorite materials please add from your SOLIDWORKS so that it will be easy for you to select at this point otherwise you have to expand each and every individual sections and select in this case I'll select plain carbon steel we'll select uh, ABS plastic PC we'll select brass and we'll last we'll select rubber so we have all the material here I'll select the value so I'm just adding the initials here that's it once it's done I'll click OK here now to link the material if you want this materials property across your whole uh, toolbox library just stay here at this point and select this material type here it will apply station let's say external ring over here what I want is I want to add materials property for this retaining rings here we'll select materials tab now for rubber to add rubber property or to add rubber material for this it's not possible or it's not available so I'll just Uncheck the rubber. Once it's done, save your property file. Let's go to our SolidWorks. I will quickly open one assembly file here. Let's open the toolbox. Let's see the internal. I'll just try to drop here. Over here you'll get your materials tab now from here you can choose let's say this should be the brass materials applied this way you can add your materials property in each toolbox component thank you and see you in next tech tip tuesday video